Hi, welcome to Anyone Can Play, and I'm your host, Robert Chambers. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on Anyone Can Play Nursery Rhymes. So we're going to put a guess to the test. All right, so stay tuned. What if you could play piano? Alright, welcome again to Anyone Can Play and we are focusing on nursery rhymes today and we have a wonderful guest today and her name is Kathy Nesbitt. How are you doing today, Kathy? Hi, Robert. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing well. You're doing well? Okay. Well, you are going to be put to the test today, <laughs> right? Now, it's my claim that anyone can play piano and the reason why I say that is because I believe once you know how to play piano by ear, then you'll be able to play what you hear. No pun intended uh, there or so. Okay. All right? So I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about you first before we get started in our lesson, okay? Okay, before we get hands-on. Before we get the hands-on, okay? On, okay? Right. I just want to get to know my guest today. Okay. All right, so we haven't met prior to this, have we? We have not. We have no. not, so this is great. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Thank as well. You. Okay, so now let's get to the music. Now, what's okay. your music experience? Did you take lessons or uh, so? I've never played piano. Um, I took flute lessons in, in uh, junior high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just flute. A few years ago. <laughs> yeah, just, just a few years ago. <laughs> a few ago. decades ago. All right. And, and now with that, so you just had how many years of experience, I guess, with that? Oh, gosh, that would have been, I guess, two or three years, um, you know, once a week or whatever it was. All right. So how about the piano? What's piano, I, uh, I was able to play chopsticks, but I'm not sure that I still could. Okay. All right. So chopsticks <laughs> was good. All right. And that's the extent of my experience. <laughs> okay. Now, in terms of playing music by ear or so, so basically listen to it, what's one of your favorite songs? Let's... Uh, well, I have many. Mm -hmm. um, gosh, I, I really like Imagine, John Lennon, okay. of course, one of my favorites. Uh, All right. But there's many. Okay. We'll get to that one shortly. Okay. Okay. But we're going to focus on nursery rhymes for today. Is that okay? Okay. Sure. Okay. So to be able to do that, we're going to actually go to the piano and start teaching you live. Great. Okay. I'm Are you ready. ready to go? I think so. All right. So. As you can see, so we're going to look at the piano. Are you looking at it? Okay, Very yes. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of white things and a whole bunch of black things. Okay? Yes. Those white, th I want you to touch some of those white things. Okay. Press, press it, right? Touch some of those black things. Good. Okay? okay. So those white things and black things are called keys or notes. Okay. Okay, so what mm -hmm. are these white things and black things called? Keys or notes. All right. Yeah. So basically, keys are these physical things that are on the piano. Right? But notes are just keys with a name. So it's basically the same thing. Okay. So if I say Thank to play you. a note, it's the same thing. If I say to play a key, it's the same thing. Beautiful. Does it make sense? Thank you, yes. All right. So the next thing in music, you need to see that there's groups of black keys. There's groups of two and there are groups of three. Do you see a group of two? I do. Touch a group of two black keys. Okay. Touch another group of two black keys. Good. Oh, you're ready to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Touch a group of three black keys now. All right. Good. Another group. Exactly. And as you can see, it okay. goes all along the piano. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Yeah. All right, great. So now we can go to the next part, which is you need to go know un and understand about going up and going down in music. All right? Okay. So when you go up, you have to go towards the right. Okay? okay. So I'd like you to point to the right. Here we go. Exactly. Now go, that yeah. means you're going up in music. So what you can do from that point, just slide your finger all the way up so you can hear how it sounds. Do you see how it sounds like you're going higher? Yes. All right? So if I started from down here, it go all the way up, and then you can take over, slide to the rest. And by the way, that's just some of the devices that they use in, uh, you know, a lot of rock and roll. So they do use right. some of those things. Okay. So yes. now you know what uh, Jerry Lee Lewis was doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're ready to do that. Beautiful. Now. I am. I'm <laughs> okay. ready. So you understand about going up, right? <laughs> yes. So now let's see about going down. Going down. So which way? Exactly. In which direction is that going? Going to the left. Exactly to the left. Okay. All right. So you understand that, right? Wow. Okay, so the next thing you need to understand, all right, so we're building our foundation to set you up because you're going to be playing for us live today, right? Okay. Are you ready for that? I don't know. Oh, you will be. Okay. okay. So now I want you, the musical alphabet is similar to the regular alphabet. Oh, good. Okay. okay. But it's easier than the regular alphabet. Oh, good. The regular alphabet goes from A to Z. Z, exactly. All right. So now the or Z. musical <laughs> is Z, exactly. But the musical alphabet goes from A to G. Okay, oh. so it's a little bit easier. Wonderful. So if it went from A to G, can you say that alphabet for me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Exactly. Now, there's no H's, there's no J's, there's no K's, there's no N for Nesbitt. Okay, it's just <laughs> A to G, but what happens as it gets to G, it starts all over again. Okay. Okay, so by the way, how many letters are on uh, that, in that alphabet, in the musical alphabet? Count them. 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Seven letters. There's seven letters. Seven. Okay, now how many days of the week do we have? Seven. Seven. Now what happens after seven days? We like start again. We start again. So now let's apply this principle to the piano. Okay. All right. So if we were at letter A and we wanted to go higher, which direction would we go to go higher? We would go to the right. To the right. So if you went one letter higher than A, what letter would that be? B. B. One letter higher than B? C. One letter higher than E? D. Ah, oh, I knew you were going. <laughs> See, that's where you play by ear. You got to be able to hear. Okay. What? One letter higher than E. Uh, F. F. One letter higher than G. A. Why? Because we start again. Exactly. You got it? Okay. All right. So, I think that, so. that's how the musical wow. alphabet works, okay. and then it goes along the whole piano. Wow. Okay. So, if I asked you for one letter below A, what letter would you play? G. Exactly. One oh letter my below gosh. D. C. Excellent. You're ready oh, to go. Oh, okay. Does it make All sense? Right. That does. Good. So, now that we have that, okay. let's go to the piano now. Okay? All right. So all the right. first key that we want to find, I'm going to tell you how to find it, but you're going to, be able, you're going to have to find all the rest, okay? So the first okay. key we want to find is C. All right? Now, C is the white key to the left of the two black keys. I'll say it again. So okay. C so this is one the here. white key. Which one do you think it is? This one. Okay, you've got to give me a high five for that. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, we got that. Okay. All right, so play C again. Play another C. Play another C. One more C. Oh, you're ready to oh go. Oh, my gosh. All right, so now you know how to find C. Now, just like uh, the primary alphabet, A to G, those letters on the piano are all white, so it's going to be easier to find them. So if we want to find D, how far is C from D? Next door. Right. How many letters over? Just right next door. Just so if you put right your finger beside. on C, which one do you think is going to be D? The one to the right of it. And therefore, you're correct. You've got to give me another high five. Woohoo! Woo, we got that. I, I must right. say, I was a doubting Thomas before Were you? I started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So we made a believer out of you then. Okay, so play your Ds again. Now look where it is located. Now play another D. Play another D. Play another D. Play another D. Excellent. Oh. Does it make sense? All right. Well. Now I'd like you to find F. I'm going to try, try to mix it okay. up. Okay, F. Oh, you're ready to go. Okay. Play all the F. See where it's located? Excellent. Excellent. Oh, Excellent. Okay. All right. Now mm. I want you to play E. Okay. E. Okay. C was there. E. What'd you say? C D E. E. Excellent. All right. E. So play all of your E's. E. Okay. So you're you're good. Okay. So right now we found C. So play C. C. Play D. Play E. Play F. Very good. Play D. Play E. Play C. Good. Now I want you to play G. Excellent. Now play a couple G's. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, you're ready to go. Excellent. Oh, now wow. I'd like you, now we found C, D, E, F, okay. and G. I'd like you to find A. <laughs> That's all right. You got to okay. use what you learned, right? Right. So C, D, E, F, G. Would A be this one? Mm, so you're asking me. You, are you sure? <laughs> no. Well, okay. Well, remember what the alphabet. Right. The alphabet was. The musical alphabet? A, a to B, G. A right? to G. Yeah. And then if you went. Oh, and then if we went backwards, so. What C, letter is that? This one's C. Are you sure? Look at the amount of black keys that you have there. Wait a minute, this one's C. Ah. Okay, wait a minute. So, okay, C. Uh huh. So this would be B, and this would be A. Oh, exactly. So play an A. Oh, okay. So A here. Good. A. All right. Uh, Very good. Oh, now play B. Okay. <laughs> play B for me. Okay. B. Excellent. Okay. All right. So oh. now you, you got a sense of the regular primary keys. Excellent. Wow. So after we come back from the next break, you're going to have <laughs> okay. to take that knowledge and then have to play a song for us. Okay. All right. All right. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> all right. So I hope you guys been tu hope you've been tuning out or, or staying with us. All right. So we'll be back shortly.